Because Sifo Kumede is one of the most important jazz artists in this country and the world, who shows the world that art, jazz and art can come from Wama. The scene is the ocean economy, which we are con continuously excluded from, but also where the three sheets that made our collective experience to be what it is, they came through the scene. So I think all these symbolisms are important when we think about the space. But my goal, my, my, my job was to welcome you. With a skin tone that rings better than your phone, I'm blacker than the least of those who fail to pay loan. But my street credit is on point. And throughout Stephen, where Brazilian hair is created by a Chinese man, but the online scam will still charge you for the shipping fees. Black market with white vendors. Men in suit and tie are true thugs and drug smugglers. They hit the hand of flow with fan dreams like they brothers, where prostitutes sell their bodies and get judged by the same men who sold their souls. Is that right? Country faces tension and you're writing for attention as I walk the walk. My cousins, uh, they are all over there. 
and some behind there. Mama, I'm going to go to the Uh, I also want to take this opportunity, uh, by the way, I'm not closing the event. Uh, I'll just, I want to summarize uh, a few things. I'm also uh, joined by, I also belong to the, nation, to the Young Communist League of South Africa. There is the National Committee uh, leadership here, the chairperson and the secretary. I just want to pass my greetings. I am part of that National Committee. Uh, yeah, Comrade Tiniko, Comrade Mabuse. I, I, I greet you. Mboro Panoa, when are you supposed to uh, perform here? For no part away, district of the Young Communist League in Mpumalang. I also want to greet Elinye I Lumpenda Mangelbuhani Manje, from all the way from Eastern Cape, or Dr. Mzile. I think most of you, oh, now that I have. I, I greet you, my brother. Thanks for coming. I am a lumpe and fellow drunkards. taste of um, what Ipopolabiko is going to offer, a very interesting uh, offer by the way, and what Makafula Villagas is going to offer. But also there is a philosophical intention behind what I'm doing. Uh, while I was writing the book, uh, short stories, poems, and essays, some people were saying, but why do you write a book? Why can't you write a poem separately, short stories separately, and then essays separately? That was the first part. The second part was, why are you inviting artists? Why, why do you? We're launching a book. We don't want performers. Now, these are the implications of, this thing, of that mood of thinking. And I'm happy uh, the performers here if we were listening attentively, they were able to tease some of the prejudices and suppositions that guide our life. The understanding which was given to us by, by white modernity, the power structures of modernity, uh, from slavery to date, was, this, was the distinction between the functions of the mind and the functions of the body. For meditations from the God, it's as a result of my encounter in the very gut with people we face similar social, economic, and cultural conditions with. So uh, I'm just hoping that we are going to enjoy it. And also, it's not a holy grail. If you find something weird, untruthful, and unver unverifiable, come forward, uh, say, no, I don't agree with you here. It's not a holy grail. It's not cast on stone. So let's engage it. Let's make it a living uh, thing. And the last thing I want to say. Devon was declared the UNESCO seat, the city of literature by UNESCO. Yeah, ma! You know? And it's no so, lie. So, here in Devon, I'm not, I'm not profiling Devon. Uh, no, because it's my great okay, whatever. No, no. I'm speaking truth. Here you have artists from all these townships who are very talented and gifted. But they are not just 
given an opportunity that is also wise. And then necessity, I'm a para, I'm a para now, how you show. Ganding Allah, see the machine that you keep this, I'm a para. Gala, see our insult. The very people who say, I'm a para, I'm a para, I'm a para, I'm a para, I'm a opportunity in our township. So once you make a philosophical claim, and you don't qualify it through people's lived experiences, now I'm a para, 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 I'm a para. But if you make a political and ideological claim and you qualify it or you make examples by people's experiences, it becomes clear. And Uma Okuluma Nabantu, Bazo, he has a pencil. He has, he, he, he. We are. So that's how we relay information. So the idea of short stories is not my invention. It is an old invention uh, that came at a time when publishing companies or the powers that be refused to recognize a particular crime of articulation. Do we get it? So that's when they say, okay, by the way, maybe we should, uh, you know, explore alternative ways of expressing our frustration, but most importantly of making sense of our lives. You know, so in the entire thing, I know some comrades will say, hey, I'm taking some you know, organizations and whatever. But what I'm actually doing is to develop a critique of what is obtaining, what we see, what we experience in our communities through short stories. It's, well, I'm not dealing with a, a, how, who, which celebrity gave birth yesterday or tomorrow or they divorce. I deal with power issues because they affect us. Uh, those who are vaccinated by such things about uh, whether they, they will divorce next year or whatever. Uh, some people are not even related to how we live our day-to-day -day realities. I mean, they have their own space to deal with other things. Without any apology, I deal with power relations, how power is organized and how resources are distributed. But I deal it in a particular creative manner. <laughs> Hello. Sakul. Sakula, it may be online for any money, who are getting the court of Maja Mokti, who get you to know what case. Unplug. Always after six months. Call. Call is of danger against the crowd. Mfundena would want to tell you in a man, you will come. Sakul. Nakul. Wakul. Nakul. Wakule, Ipa, smartphone, screen save, me, douche, Ya people scoko gata, to a shutter water front, ya shuma baba bag and I'm gonna seven ten scores, this is a cool. Washa wa stress. Waki bidi kari piano long chive. Washi scoko nga kulumi no koko. Wabanga to come nice. When all the single ladies niko. When I come go, I'm always damn sure. I'm a chop of a printer second. I'm a name of Goose Market. I'm a chop of 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 a and as a good wine, and as a live music, and as a de de denization, and as a living, we can grow on this beat, we don't care, even though I'm not a con, putting puss in my pony, what's a stamp in my pony, what talk about cocktail in my rooftop, what a really looks in the class, one of the class. That line that gives everyone a lifeline, the moment you join it, there is a cut off. That lifeline, the moment you join it, there is a cut off. You are gone. The only thing that is found in your hand is that particular manifesto of a particular party which promised a better life for all. And some, maybe perhaps a post mortem says, hey, intestines had begun eating themselves. 
These are some of the tragedies that we encounter. And if our language of critique does not deal with these practical realities that we encounter every day, then we will move in what we call, a, we will move from fire into a frying pan. The only difference is that fire in a frying pan is mediated by the pan, it's not direct, but same implications. Here, the rejections were a blessing. After those rejections, the very same people who rejected me, they came to order the book. We are one, seven funnel is in what? Now I'm putting a condition, you don't inflate the price to make profit. This is an anti-capitalist property. It's an anti-imperialist, anti-racist, anti, -racist, anti uh, uh, you know, you know, sexist property. So if you are going to take it and inflate the price, then you are defeating the ends of the entire literary project. To walk through the book, why expenses to decipher this intricate patterns, connecting the dots that lead to my eternal blessings behind juvenile bars, premature cats, writes lyrics, hijacking the spirits, stripping the plot out of the last born daughter, another breaking of water for birth to quench its thirst at the price of a penny, her ass was up for grabs, got simple, sold to the highest bidder because the father couldn't figure out three trying to rent space between the child and the middle finger. Yeah. I tempted great trying to appease the addicts of conflicts. The master is too friendly to believe. He's wearing his frozen heart on his sleeve, but the sympathetic slave to French faces, French faced well. It seems like South Africa is a very attractive side chick wearing expensive colonial boots. <laughs> 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 Well, it seems like South Africa is a very attractive side chick wearing expensive colonial cologne with lovely sweet scent of wicked politics, the capital fragrance that lingers under the nose of the ignorant, the artificial beauty of the incomplete rainbow, the whole nation is on makeup. Yeah. And she's singing the anthem as the psychological lullaby, packing the minds of the masses to speak. But I turn to faith brought my own version of it and the narrow mind still think that I'm too deep. But I'm not. I'm not deep. Sometimes I don't understand the things I write. I just write when I'm feeling happy. I just write when I just, you know, let me just be myself. Okay. Yeah, be me. When you refuse to beg, you develop an alternative grammar of being in this world. The moment you say, I can't do this, this is how I want it to be done. Otherwise, we are going to live according to the scripts of the power structure. And the power structure that does not have the best interest of ours in it. That's what we are doing. So the moment we stop begging, the moment we stop begging our leaders, the moment we stop begging uh, whoever thinks they are in charge of our lives, it is the moment we are going to open possibilities for an alternative way of imagining, but most importantly, for an alternative way of being in this world. Art is very serious, and has to be, it has to be a central part of our life, and as well as writing and all those things. So I really thank you to, for being here. I'm grateful. Uh, this is not just, it's not about Molaudi. That's why we have people who are going to take even more time here. It's not about me. It is part of the entire process of emancipation. So it's not a be and end all. This city is going to produce people, but also we don't want the Nazis. When you are there, you forget us. Or you are a published, or you are a popular writer, and then you forget where you come from. Remember the gutter, but also let's not uh, romanticize the gutter. The gutter is very violent. The township is very violent. I don't like the cut, the gutter. I fucking, sorry for my French, hate the cat. <laughs> it's very violent, and more often than not, we want to normalize that violence. Ah, I say, look, you should. Yeah, but we're going to know the project is like, 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 and that is the only way we can redefine our way of being in this world. Thank you very much.
Africa. Kupi yoni zezu. Dana mshanti za sungeza pezu kwa stumbu zikata. Upupa nga mna. Yema. Upupa nga mna. 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 Upupa nga mna.